Ah, I love this place. I would love to own a place like this. Alright, I can't stay here. We're pushing through. This might be a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. But we gotta make it to the cabin before dark. I can't survive all night in that cabin with no food or water or firewood. So, we're pushing on. Oh man, this might be a mistake, but there's nothing else to do. We have no other option. At least my, uh, Ankle doesn't seem to be bothering me, which is nice. So I do need to get four hours of rest, though. I think once I think painkillers are probably a thing that you know they can wear off, and my ankle can start hurting again. So, all right. So I know it's yeah. Here's the unnamed pond. So we have to get here, and then we have to go up that way a little bit over another ridge, and we're there. But I really don't know how much longer we have with light, and that is an issue. That is a big issue. What is that? Fuck, there's a wolf. No, oh, it's not good. And he's going the way I need to go. And there's a corpse over there that I could grab and probably some firewood right there. Okay. I don't know if crouching keeps you more hidden from animals. It should makes sense. Alright, as long as he just keeps going that way, which kind of sucks because that's the way we need to go, but as long as he doesn't eat my face while I'm digging through this corpse. Oh shit, where'd he go? Oh, there he is, okay. Alright, uh, let's get the stuff out of this little hunter's platform, whatever this is. Bandage. Cool. Anything else? Oop, newspaper roll. Okay. Great. We're going to follow this thing, too. No. No. There he is. Please. Spare me. What the? Oh! the heck was that? Oh! What the? There's a wolf that I was walking into that just ran off. Wolf ran from me. What? The heck? What? I don't understand that at all. Why did it run from me? Huh. Weird. It must be a new addition to the game, but I don't... Hmm. Doesn't make sense to me, but... I'm not going to argue with it. Save me from possible death. You know, I'm not in the greatest condition. I don't have the best amount of gear, so we need to get moving though. It's it's getting progressively more dark as we as we go on and we need to get to this cabin. See, yeah, it's just it's it's hard to tell where the map opens up at points. You know, I know if I go that way um, I, I kind of just loop around and get back to the main, you know, like railroad tracks area. I know if I go straight from the cabin that we're heading to, you get just, you get back to the railroad tracks, you know. Everywhere that I seem to go that I think is a new area, I kind of just wrap around and get back to the, the railroad tracks. So, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I just, I've got to figure it out. I've got to figure out. There's got to be one, there's got to be a couple places that I can kind of just go over the hill and boom, something new. But I just can't figure out where. I don't know. It's going to be interesting when the campaign comes out. You know, I'm wondering if it's going to be something tough like that where you're not sure where to go or where it's just going to always, it's going to be pretty obvious where you need to go and what you need to get to. I don't know. I'm really interested, and I'm really interested in seeing how they do with this whole, you know, your decisions, you know, your life decisions 
and uh, everything that you decide in the world, because that's going to make, you know, my series, and, like, I know Alex wants to do a series on this. I mean, he loves this game, so I don't know if Zach or Jeff or anybody else will, but I know me and Alex will probably do series, and our series are probably going to be different from each other because of the decisions that we're going to make. So that's going to be fun to watch. Um, I'm interested in watching the different decisions that Alex does compared to me. So that's going to be good. All right, let's check this place. Nothing. Uh, uh, how long is it going to take if I use the hatchet? 10 minutes? 11 minutes? Let's just go ahead and do it. It's 11 minutes, and I get two and a half pounds. It's it's something. Better than nothing. At least I I'll, I will have some food, and I know this place will have some uh, some some wood and a stove, so I should be able to start a fire and cook this food up and get some sort of food. So, Trapper's Homestead. There it is. Ah, uh, I love this place. I would love to own a place like this. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the snowy abyss nowhere. It would just be amazing. Look at that moon. Alright, let's go in. Alrighty. Let's just start uh, ransacking this place and seeing what we can get. Pick up everything. Ooh, rifle ammo. That's nice. MRE, newsprint. Yes, please. Flare. Magnifying glass. Yes. All this. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Crap metal. Nope. Nobody needs it. I do. Ooh, water. That's that's really nice. Ah, beef jerky, simple tools, grape soda. Oh, I love this place. The only downside to this place is every single time you want to leave this, you're always encumbered because you pick up so much. So you kind of have to hang out here and like go through your stuff for a little while and make sure that you're <laughs> that you can move on your own without getting, you know, bogged down. Ah, this is great. Okay, let's see what's in the locker. I can't remember what was in the locker when I—I I think nothing was in the locker last time I—I I searched it. Last time I came here, there's nothing in it. Salty crackers. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to grab. I think we gotten everything we can. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, matches. Can we use a magnifying lens in the stove? Inside? Tinder plug. Uh, let's use the reclaimed wood. And let's go ahead and just use an accelerant just so we have a fire. We can get it going. Uh, throw the other reclaimed on there. Maybe one of these, and let's go ahead and just cook this venison. So we got two venison, which is pretty good. It's better than nothing. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna boil up a ton of water uh, because we need it desperately. Uh, throw that on there so we can cook up a whole. I think we can melt a whole gallon of snow. Uh, it uses up so much. Oh god, time is going by very, very quick, and I'm getting very, very hungry. Alright, let's boil up. Oh, no, I didn't check that. Uh-oh. Fire. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't go out, don't go out, don't go out. Shit. Not good. Mmm. Alright, hold on. Let me check how much in terms of food and drink. Oh man, we got a the entire gallon is unsafe because I ran out. So hungry. That sucks. All right, we're just, we're gonna start another fire. I need to I need to get the I need to get the the water boiled. There's no point in having unsafe water to drink. 
Mmm, that uses up so much. It's unbelievable. Alright. Okay. Let's start turning our condition around a little bit. That pretty much just got us back to normal. Okay, let's just keep let's just keep eating. Eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Let's fill up. Alright, let's try to get around Oh, I don't know, two thousand calories or so. Coming dark out. See this is just this is awesome right here. This is I would love to live in a place like this. And, but the thing is, I always said I would love to live in a place like this, but there would be conditions. And my conditions are super unrealistic. <laughs> I would only live in a place like this if, one, I could have internet, which wouldn't happen, so I can continue to YouTube, which you don't get internet in places like this. Um, as well as if... Uh, if, I, if my day job wasn't just surviving. Because typically when you live in a place like this, your day job is going out and getting food and making sure you don't die. Um, <laughs> so as long as that wasn't what I had to do all the time, if I could have internet and just have like somebody deliver food to me, <laughs> I would love to live in a place like that. But that would never happen. So my, my dreams are just unrealistic. It's extremely dark. Um... Let's actually check our clothing real quick. Uh, basic wool hat. I don't think that's better than the, the toque we're wearing. Uh, this toque is actually better. Let's put on some wool socks. Oh. Oh. These are better than the ones I'm wearing. Okay, cool. Alright. Not much in the way of... Not much in the way of... Uh, of clothes that we picked up. So we can just harvest the stuff that we're not using. Maybe maybe we can repair. We picked up a sewing kit, too. Um, so maybe we can repair some of the stuff that we have. Okay, what else is there? There was... Ah, here we go. Duke. Okay. So, now with clothes, we should be wearing everything. Good. Uh, and let's go ahead, first aid, drink, uh, material, yeah, I think we're doing alright. So what we, what we need to do is we need to start, hmm, how many can openers? We have two can openers. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest, where's the other can opener? Here we go, I'm going to harvest the 22% can opener, and then I'm going to use the scrap metal I'll get from that can opener uh, to then repair my other can opener with uh, simple tools. Let's do this one. There we go. So that way we don't need to have two can openers. Saves a little bit of weight and we have one that's decent condition. So uh, anything else? What else can we repair? Uh, the hunting rifle, but we need uh, firewood for that. I don't understand that, to be honest. I don't understand why you need firewood to to get. Uh... Oh no, we need leather. We can repair this though. Let's go ahead and repair our down ski jacket. Yeah, but I don't understand why you need firewood to repair the gun. It's there's there's a reason behind it. I know that. I just I'm I'm unaware of the reason. Uh, we really need leather because. I don't want to walk around without boots. <laughs> Just me, though. Salty crackers. I wonder if salty crackers makes you more thirsty. It does. Wow. Cool. I like that. I like that attention to detail. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to crack that safe. Um. Oh. And we need to do... Nope. We need to do this, and hunting rifle, equip, here we go. Okay. So, we need to crack this safe, and I think then we're going to be good. Uh, we can go ahead and head out. Um, it's, it's you know, 6.30 in the morning, so we, we made it through the night. We're not encumbered. Our status is pretty good. We have a little bit of food on us. We have some water, so things are looking a lot better. And then we can go start exploring. 
Uh, but I'm going to crack this safe real quick. I'm going to cut it out because I left it in the last episode. And it's kind of long and tedious, and I don't like talking over it because then I can't hear it. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this safe, and uh, we'll head out afterwards. All right. That so we open the... Oh. Fire striker. Huh. Awesome. So we, uh... We didn't get rifle ammo, but we got something that I've never gotten before. Which is a, uh, fire striker. So, it helps us start fire. So, as also with the magnifying glass, uh, we can start some fires. So we might actually... I did not realize you could do this. How long do how long did these last? I did not realize you could strike a match. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but wow, I did not realize that at all. Let's go ahead and just head outside. I don't know how long this match will last, but it's not going to be amazing. But I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, that was not long. All right, let's go ahead and oh, we need to uh, equip our hunting rifle. We then need to load it. So after gathering all the supplies we possibly could from that place. We can now head out and uh, hopefully find a new area that we haven't been to before. <laughs>